Tortuga has launched their new light collection and I'm so excited to show you everything in depth today from the collection. We all know that it's super beneficial to have lighter items when you travel, especially if you're gonna be carrying them on your back or if you have a really stingy, strict airline that's going to weigh your bag. So there's three different items in this collection and I'm gonna show you them all. They have their new light 40 liter travel backpack, a compression packing cube, and a packable backpack. And you know I'm going to be giving packing examples too. If you guys are new here, I'm Lauren Kelly from It's the Kellys, and I travel often and pack well and want to help you guys do the same. I review travel essentials, do packing videos, show you my trips, and therefore do unpacking videos, and then I give you all sorts of travel tips to really help prepare you for travel, whether it's your first time or whether you've traveled as much as me. I have now been to 97 countries and all seven continents, and I've done it all in a carry-on bag. So if that sounds like something great, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. And then introduce yourself and let me know what's on your travel bucket list. Introducing the light collection from Tortuga. Let me introduce the bags real quick and then we'll go in depth. Here we have the travel backpack light. It is 40 liters and it is a whole pound lighter than the other travel backpack that I reviewed recently and it's also a hundred dollars cheaper. This is their compression packing cube. Fill it up, compress it down, and pack efficiently. And then last but not least, this is their packable backpack. This weighs less than a pound. It's only 11 ounces. It's a great size for a personal item or it packs into itself so you can pack it in your backpack and use it on your trip when you need it. I'm going to go over all three of those in detail in just a minute, but first I feel like I need to tell you about the bundle prices. If you like all three items that I'm going to show you today, they do have a light bundle. You can get all three items for only $300, meaning you're going to save $70. Or if you really like the 40 liter backpack I'm about to show you and your favorite travel partner wants one too, then you can get the Travel Together Light Bundle, meaning two backpacks for $425, which is gonna save you $75. All right, let's go more in depth with all three of the products in the Light Collection. So let's start with this big guy because I think this is what everyone is probably most excited to see. And like I said, even though it's 40 liters, this is a whole pound lighter than the previous backpack that I showed you guys. I will link that review down below because not only did I review that backpack in depth, but I also showed you almost every single accessory that Tortuga has. I filmed that video direct off of a trip where I swore off backpacks for the rest of my travel career because I was so uncomfortable. And then Tortuga sent me that backpack and I packed it and tried it on and I was honestly blown away to the point where I was like, maybe I could travel with a backpack because Tortuga really designs their bags with your body and therefore comfort in mind. So now that this one is 22% lighter than the other one that blew my mind, this will probably blow my mind even more. So real quick, I'm gonna show these two backpacks side by side. So this is the one I'm reviewing today and this is the one that I previously reviewed. I'm not gonna go too deep into the differences, but you can see they're both 40 liter backpacks. They're both the same size. This fabric is lighter and it's just a little bit different. You can see that it looks kind of matte as compared compared to this one. And that's the biggest difference that I can see when holding them side by side. Now, the new backpack is missing a pocket that this one has, and that's probably also a big reason as to why it's lighter. It's this pocket right here that just has extra storage in the front. But other than that, they're pretty much the same. So this backpack does retail for $250, and like I said, bundle deals. Repeat after me, bundle deals. And I mentioned a little bit about the material that this is made out of. Of course it's durable, of course it's lightweight, and of course it's waterproof. And without getting too into it, it's basically an extremely innovative fabric that is going to last. 
which is really important with the backpack, let's face it. So this backpack is going to be more of your carry-on size versus a personal item because it is just over 21 inches tall, just under 14 inches wide, and about seven and a half inches deep. And then the weight on the website does say that it's 3.5 pounds, but it's actually weighing in for me at 3.14. However, I don't have the hip straps attached right now. That's an amazing weight for a backpack. Okay, so outside details. You can see that there is not a big bulky front pocket. Sometimes when you have a soft material and you have outer pocket, when it's fully packed, it's just gonna get really awkward and possibly not fit in the overhead bin. So Tortuga did design their backpack with this hidden slim front pocket for anything that you need easy access to. Speaking of easy access, there is also a top zippered pocket here, which does have a key ring and definitely has room for very important things, especially while traveling. Actually, Brian traveled with this last weekend and uh, I loved this pocket for him because he's a very forgetful person. So when he's like, where's my sunglasses? I'm like, check the top pocket, Brian. There is also a very nice stretchy mesh water bottle pocket on the side. Now there isn't a water bottle pocket on this side, but they do have a nice soft padded handle and there's one on top. This was really great when we were traveling with it because Brian could very easily get it out of the overhead bin, especially if you've packed it really full. On the back, obviously you have straps and they are padded and breathable and very comfortable. And they do have these things that are called load lifters. So when you have this on your back, you can actually cinch this up so that it's extra comfortable on your body. And these are the things that I'm talking about that make Tortuga backpacks way more comfortable than other backpacks I have reviewed. On the strap, they also have this sternum strap, so it's gonna go right across your chest. Another comfort detail. The back panel on this backpack is very nice and padded and breathable and comfortable. And then when you're not using the backpack, this opens up with Velcro and you can stow the straps away. And down here you can see this little buckle and that is for their removable hip belt. And I have it unattached right now, but all you have to do is open up these Velcro straps and slip them onto those buckles and then you have an amazing padded hip belt and that is going to relieve so much weight off of your back and shoulders, 80% to be exact. So you can either remove them like I have here or you can very easily tuck them into these pockets down here. Right here on the back, on the other side of the back panel is our beloved laptop pocket that is padded. So it's going to keep your laptop safe and it can hold up to a 16 inch laptop. My 13 inch MacBook Air fits beautifully in here and I can even pack a folder in there as well and maybe even my iPad too. Now this one doesn't have as many features as the previous backpack. That one does have a nice little Velcro strap to keep your laptop in and does have a mesh zippered pocket for cords or something like that. So let's open this bag up and we are going to do that with these incredible YKK zippers. They do have this little loop so of course you can attach a travel lock and lock your backpack. Now, my favorite part about this backpack, and I will only travel with backpacks that have this feature, it opens like a suitcase. So you have all of your depths here, and then you have two mesh zippered pockets here. So that is it for this backpack. I will give a packing example at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Speaking of packing, let's move on to this compression packing cube. In my last Tortuga video, I did showcase their three set of packing cubes, which I did really like. But the difference between this one and that one is that you can pack this one and then compress it down. So this compression cube is $40. And just like every other Tortuga product, it is made to last. This is a 70D ripstop nylon, which is one of the best materials that packing cubes can be made out of. And of course it has YKK zippers as well. 
Looking at the dimensions when flat, it's about nine and a half by 13. Depthwise, it's about three inches. And then when I actually undo the compression, and then therefore you can see this mesh part here, it's kind of stretchy. The mesh part does add about an extra two inches. Okay, so let's pack it. And I am going to pack three pairs of pants and five t-shirts. And the thing about my clothes, they're plus size. So if I can fit all of that in this packing cube, chances are you can fit that and maybe even more. So we're gonna undo the compression all the way around and then we are going to open the bag. So here is a pair of leggings. Here is a pair of joggers. So then I have one t-shirt here, another t-shirt here, this shirt here, this shirt here, and this shirt here. This is packed comfortably. So I could very well stop here, but why would you? It can fit more. So I'm also going to pack a pair of jeans. I can put that right there on top, folding it to exactly the size of the cube. Zip it all the way around. So I'm going to take this zipper here. You can see this mesh part carefully. I kind of like to slip my finger under it when I do it. Zip that side, zip that side zip that side and meet it all the way around. And now it's this size. Three pairs of pants and five shirts. You guys, that is an incredible amount of stuff to fit into a packing cube. I'm going to use this compression cube later when we pack the backpack, but now we're going to move on to the packable backpack. This is one of the items I am most excited for. I always like to pack a packable backpack or a packable bag of some sort, especially for day trips or excursions or little bus trips within longer trips where you don't necessarily need to bring your larger backpack or your hard suitcase. So this is awesome and it's less than a pound. It is only 11 ounces. What? Like that's so light. If you want to use this as your personal item in addition to your carry-on backpack, or if you're using hard luggage for that trip, you can. So you have two different ways that you can bring it on your trip. Cause this is going to be about 18 inches tall, 10 inches wide and six inches deep. And it holds 19 liters, which is pretty typical for a backpack. So before I get into all of the details, let me fold it into itself so I can really show you how small it can pack up. So on the top here, there is this little pocket. This is what you are going to essentially turn inside out where the whole backpack will fold into itself. Unzip it and then just start shoving the whole bag into there. Make sure all that's straps are tucked in and it's this small. It's about eight inches by six or six and a half inches because it's kind of got like a little wonky edge there. And then the depth is just about two and a half or three. And if it doesn't work with your current packing Tetris that you've got going on in your bag, just open it up and lay it flat underneath your packing cubes. Open it up and you've got your backpack back, backpack. Of course, this is going to be durable, lightweight, and waterproof as well. So let's get into all of the details. I did show you that pocket up top where it folds into itself, but it's also just a nice pocket to be able to throw in essentials that you need to grab from the outside. There are two water bottle pockets, one on each side. It is mesh and stretchy and has this little loop so that maybe if you have a carabiner, you can attach it to that so that it doesn't fall out. And then you're gonna notice there is a different fabric on the bottom and that is basically a really, really strong reinforced fabric. If you are going to maybe set this down continuously while it's packed, you want this to be as durable as possible. There is of course a top grab handle and then on the back you do have these lightweight comfortable straps that are of course adjustable and it does still have a sternum strap. And then there are all these other loops here on the strap so that if you want to attach something else while on your excursion or your hike, you can. 
And then of course, YKK zippers that are lockable. And then you just have the inside, which is pretty basic. There's no pockets or anything like that. So let's pack this bag as if we are doing some sort of excursion where we need a towel and a change of clothes and stuff like that. All right, so in this day pack, I'm gonna take one of Tortuga's small packing cubes from their three pack set. Let's say you're going swimming or on some sort of waterfall hike. And then afterwards you wanna change into these clothes. So I'm gonna put these on the bottom because that's the last thing you're going to use. Now I'm going to pack a full size towel. Now I usually travel with a travel size towel. We're going to do a full size one just to show you what it can hold. So let's pack that right on top of the packing cube. So let's say we are shooting some adventure content. We will put our GoPro in there. And then I'm going to use some of these pouches from Tortuga. This bag, I am going to have my bathing suit. If I went on this excursion wearing my bathing suit, I can pack it in here after. And with this interior, it's not going to get everything else wet. And then this is another little pouch that comes in the set. And in here I have baby wipes, sunscreen, a comb, bug wipes, stuff like that. So little essentials that you're not just gonna wanna throw in the bag, keep it organized. All of this is going to fit in there and there is still room. And then don't forget we have this front pocket. So I'm gonna pack my sunglasses, my headphones, and my wallet. And then we can't forget about the side pockets too. Of course, it can be good for two water bottles. So let's put this one in, it is 24 ounces. And then on this side, if I'm packing my GoPro, maybe I need a tripod. How convenient. Okay, so now let's pack that 40 liter light backpack full of travel essentials. We'll try it on, see how comfortable it is and how much it weighs. All right, I've packed it and I'm gonna show you what I've packed in it in a minute, but let's put this on. We are going to adjust the straps to my body. I have put the hip belt on, so let's buckle that in. And then we will do the sternum strap. And then, see how I have all that extra gap right there between my shoulders and the backpack? Load lifters all the way up, super, comfortable. So I'm going to take it off. Let's weigh it to see how much it weighs. And then I'm going to show you everything that I put inside of it. Right now it weighs 18 pounds, which is definitely less than when I pack my hard shelled carry-on suitcases. So in this front pocket, I did put my phone and a book. Let's pretend like we're packing for Tahiti. And then of course the convenient top pocket, travel wallet, headphones, and two pairs of sunglasses. And of course, don't forget about the key leash. We can always put our keys in there. As for the laptop pocket, I have a folder full of visa information for my next trip. Can't forget it in here. I leave in a couple of days. And my 13 inch MacBook Air. Let's open the big part. I have a sweatshirt, a little pouch full of toiletries, my GoPro, and I have a small packing cube. Socks, underwear, bathing suits, travel umbrella, and another pouch for whatever you may need to use that for. We use that with the wet bathing suit. And of course, the compression packing cube with everything in it from the packing example. And then on this side, I have a pair of sandals, that same tripod, and of course, the packable backpack. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you have any questions about any of the products I showed you today, including even the other Tortuga products that I showed in the previous video. Like I said, there's so many incredible bundle deals, not just for the light items that I showed you today, but there's so many deals where if you buy a backpack, you get accessories at a discount. Or if you buy accessories, you get more accessories for a discount because Tortuga wants you to use 
all of their products together because that's how they are designed. So which of these light items in this new collection are you guys most excited for? Let me know down below. And please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. Next week, I'm headed to countries 98 and 99. And then in May, I am headed to country 100. So if you want to celebrate 100 countries with me, then please let's keep in touch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.